YouTube channel, my name is Nige, but everyone calls me Nige, so you already know you can call me Nige. Today we are going to be tasting all these wines. I have thoughts, I have opinions, very interested to see how this goes. So if you are interested, or if you like Aldi's, not sponsored by Aldi's, but we sure wish it was, please make sure to stay tuned and check this out. Before we get started, I kind of want to talk about a few things. I recently just got my introductory wine status. I do this for real, you guys, and I'm so proud of myself. And I kind of just want to take a minute and congratulate myself because I worked hard, I studied hard, and I got my level one. Um, to be a sommelier, it's four levels. So I got my first level. This test is so hard. You thought your SAT was hard. You thought your abs fab was hard. Child, please. Okay, this this test is hard. You thought Cersei was hard? Child, this test was so hard, but I am so happy that I passed. I'm reaching for that level too soon. So I just want to be able to give you guys all the information that I possibly can and my knowledge and all these wines you should be drinking videos have really helped me study. Thank you for letting me use YouTube as not only a platform to express myself, but also like my study group. Thanks y'all. <laughs> so I've had a few people ask me to um, try out some Aldi's wines. Um, I didn't know what Aldi's was until I was in college when I went to school in Syracuse, New York. That was the first time I've ever seen an Aldi's, right? So I didn't really check out the wine section like that until I moved to Florida and it's like this big old wine section. So I picked up a few bottles and we're going to talk about what they're like and what this is gonna taste like. Should you buy it? These wines are fairly cheap. I don't mind affordable wine. I really don't. I really think it's awesome when you can find great quality wine and not have to spend, you know, a leg and an arm. But my problem with more affordable wines is a chemical taste that is really off-putting. You know what I mean? This is the Barefoot, the Galileo. You know what I mean? This is, the, it's a chemical syrupy taste. And um, I used to drink it back in the day, you know, I didn't know better, you know, and I was a very, you know, unexperienced not yet known sommelier but uh today i am going to use my knowledge and really see if you should be buying these wines so let's get started the first wine i picked up was a moselle moscato la via Belle, a refreshing sweet wine with notes of peach and apricot it's a california blend i've never heard of this brand before this is new to me um my mother tasted it and um, obviously she likes it. it does say that it's bottled in modesco california so it's a california moscato um i've talked about moscatos before on this channel um i have a lot of recommendations for moscato that are affordable but this one was five bucks so i am going to see what this is like so pouring it i get this like green okay so in the bottle it looks green like in like a yellowy green color which is kind of off-putting to me but it did say it had notes of apricot so i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt um in the glass we get this like pale yellow and this like green tinge um it's kind of off-putting i'm a little scared i don't know why my biscotto should be green but let's give it a smell I smell peaches, definitely. It's not super complex. The only thing is, the smell reminds me of Barefoot. And I'm not a fan of Barefoot. Okay, but I'm just really smelling a lot of peaches, so I'm gonna give it a taste and maybe that apricot note will come out, but let's, let's give it a try. Okay, so it is, I feel the bubbliness instantly. Um, it's very fresh. Uh, I get a kind of a crisp finish. I'm trying to wait for it to, it's, a, it's kind of long on the palate. So you know how like when you drink something, it's like, damn, did I drink anything? It's this kind of, it lingers on your tongue. Oh, okay, it's drying down like on my palate. 
it's kind of drying out my uh, front part of my tongue, which is kind of different from Moscato. This does have an, a 9% ABV, so I wasn't expecting it to be syrupy sweet, but uh, the apricot taste is finally coming through while it dries down. Okay, I'm going for a second time just to see if we get anything else. I really don't like the way this feels on my tongue. Um, I'm really not a fan of that. I really feel like you could find better options than this. This is not, I don't know, I'm not, this is not enjoyable. <laughs> this is not enjoyable. I don't like this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan, y'all. Sorry. Next one, I have another white wine. My favorite white wine to drink when I first started out that I really enjoyed tasting, enjoyed analyzing was Sauvignon Blanc, um, Pinot Gris, uh, but Sauvignon Blanc. There's a special place in my heart for Sauvignon Blancs from New Zealand. Oh, I don't know what it is about them. The way that the like warm weather really coats the grapes and everything. I think it's really, really cool. So um, I found one in all these. So this is the Sunshine Bay Marlboro, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc 2019. Okay. It says it's from New Zealand. I was so excited for this. I love the color, loved the packaging. I thought it was very clean, very nice. The ABV on this one comes in at about a 12.5, which is not regular for a Sauvignon Blanc. Um, it states that blended from a select estates, vineyards in the Walburu Valley of New Zealand, world of the famous Marlboro wine region, tropical guava and passion fruit. Oh my God. If I taste notes of passion fruit, I love passion fruit. The flavors of the Sauvignon Blanc are balanced perfectly with crisp acidity, stony, <laughs> stony minerality, and citrus notes. Okay, um, Sauvignon Blanc is good with your seafood, cheeses, stuff like that. So we're going to see what this is like. That yellow in this one, like I'm noticing right off the bat, I'm seeing some like evanescence with like bubbles. Which isn't too uncommon. Um, definitely like a, a medium body. <gasps> wow, you, you smell that guava right away, right away. The passion fruit comes a little later. Oh, that smells good. I feel like this is this might be okay. I hope I don't taste like anything like really super chemically. Is that a word? Chemically? Let's give it a try. Why is that good? That it's low key fire. I'm not gonna hold you. Oh my god, wait. This was like, this was seven bucks. Um, holy wow, I was not expecting that. That is not bad. Gosh, it's very fresh. Uh, I do agree that it's very crisp. Wow, it has some other green notes that I, I, I feel like I'm tasting. Like, I feel like I'm tasting green apple. Um, wow, this is a, for seven dollars. I'm not mad at this. I'm actually really not mad at this. Um, oldies, good job, uh, Sunshine Bay. I might have to look into this company because, okay. The last bottle that we're gonna be trying, this brand I knew beforehand, um, Winking Owl. Um, I've had the Moscato from Winking Owl before. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was really nice to cook with. The Pinot Gris from Winking Owl, I don't mind as well. I think those are really good. Um, for cooking wines, uh, necessarily drinking, mm, okay. Uh, but today I have a Shiraz, a Shiraz Syrah varietal, but Sir, uh, Shiraz is a, a newer varietal in probably like the past 10, 15 years. It's definitely in the red world, not sweet, uh, definitely more fuller body, um, but Enjoyable. I love the notes of the coffee, the blackberry, the um, black cherry. It really comes with interesting notes. It's dry, medium body, subtle flavors of black cherry, uh, blackberry, a hint of spice. Best served group temp. 
Um, it, that's it. Beautiful color. Beautiful. Oh, wow, that color is gorgeous. So I enjoy a patisserie. So um, let's see. Okay, so the color is definitely like a maroon red. It's really on the meniscus, which is the like really edge of the wine. It doesn't water out or anything like that. It's really pretty. Definitely it's not see-through, but it's a little, it's a little, it's a little transparent. Um, on the nose. Wow, that black cherry comes through. Ble definitely black cherry, blackberries, maybe some raspberry, possibly like strawberries. Um, definitely like, it's really nice. Um, I'm really interested to see what this, this is definitely medium box. Look at the legs on that, really beautiful. All right, let's give it a try. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Um. That spice is just chilling in my cheeks. It's not the smoothest Syrah I've ever had. Do I think that? For five dollars, could you find something else? Yes. Um, short answer, yes. Honestly, I think this would be really nice to cook with, but to sit down and enjoy, I'm not really feeling it. I think with Linking Out, it's kind of like a hit or miss. Um, I think this was a miss. I I'm really not a fan of this like really like punch of spice. I think the spice should be literally what it said a hint no it was a slap it was a punch like it was everything um, i think a hint though was not the best way to describe this though so let's talk final thoughts this moscato Mo moselle no no literally no absolutely not <laughs> no shine bay sauvignon blanc yes i think that this this is not bad um are there other options that are probably a little better yeah but i think for seven dollars this is not bad this is really cute to have like in the summertime um like it's going to start getting warmer again y'all it's coming even though we might be in the house this is nice when i have in the house when it gets warm yeah shiraz not a big fan of uh that hint of spice was more of like a punch of spice uh, the black cherry no is the only no I'm really tasting be a really good cooking one Let me put that out there I think if you bought this bottle and you really wanted to put in like a roast or you need a red wine for something Definitely pick this up to cook with because I think it'll be really nice to cook with honestly That is all the wine that I have for you today. Um all in all I think all these had some pretty cool stuff, but um, I want to know what's your favorite Aldi wine comment below I want to hear from you and you know I might pick one or two up <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and also subscribe i am here every wednesday giving you wine education cooking recipes and also the beat so um don't forget to do that and also don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter and i am now on clubhouse um and i will happily talk to you guys next time bye